Welcome viewers. Historian David Starkey claims that King Charles is currently waiting for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex to kill themselves. This video will break everything down for you so please remember to subscribe for more updates. Historian David Starkey offered his thoughts on Prince Harry and Meghan Markle as GB News reviewed the turbulent year in the life of the British royal family. He said King Charles is waiting for the two to kill themselves in a very cunning long game. David was questioned by Esther McVeigh and Philip Davies on the Saturday episode of GB News, where the topic of the British royal family came up. They talked about the passing of Queen Elizabeth II and the uproar caused by Harry and Meghan's Netflix special. In the explosive series, Harry blames King Charles for the failure of the late Queen to solve the Megxit dilemma when she convened them at Sandringham in January 2020. Even though Prince William had promised that his office would never gossip about him, the prince said that it had happened anyhow. David exploded on GB News, saying, I don't think they much matter, look at the opinion polls today. People don't like them very much, and nearly everyone wants them to lose their positions of authority. Every day that passes, I believe that every frantic attempt to take a little molehill of grievance and try to expand it into a great vast Himalayas of anger makes them less relevant. I think Charles is actually playing a rather brilliant long game," he said. What I think he's doing is waiting for them to kill themselves, which is a really bad plan. Then he doesn't have to do anything spectacular. It's extremely prudent of him to just let things go naturally. David's words are being released in anticipation of Prince Harry's tell-all biography, Spare. On January 10, less than two months after his shocking Netflix series premiered, his book will finally be released. The landmark book will feature unflinching honesty and self-examination, according to Penguin Random House. Neither Harry's Netflix series nor his forthcoming memoir have been addressed by the royal family. In his Christmas message to the country, King Charles did not make any reference to his youngest son. As an alternative, he spoke about his late mother, Prince Philip, Prince William, and the Princess of Wales. Additionally, the king sent his sympathies to those who have lost loved ones and brought attention to the rising cost of living. It is unclear if Prince Harry will be present for King Charles's coronation on May 6. It was pointed out by royal biographer Anthony Holden that the Church of England has never crowned a divorced man as king, which Holden suggested could cause a constitutional crisis if King Charles were to admit to having an extramarital affair. The affair of King Charles may render his coronation null and void, according to a royal author. After Charles and Diana's divorce in 1992, rumors began to circulate that the Prince of Wales was having an affair with Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall. The rumors were later confirmed by a book that Charles authorized. By 1994, Charles had revealed his infidelity to Diana. In an interview for a documentary about his life, he was asked if he had stayed true to her. He responded, yeah, yes we tried to fix it till it was beyond repair, but it was already too late. A constitutional crisis, according to royal biographer Anthony Holden, might result from Charles's admission of infidelity. What are your thoughts on this matter? Please let us know in the comments down below.